What's up, YouTube? Today, today, we're gonna be doing a uh, what's in my camera bag type video. I'm gonna be showing you all the items in my camera bag, my new camera bag that I just got, I think, last week. This camera bag isn't the biggest camera bag, but it kind of fits me perfectly because I don't have a whole bunch of equipment. So it's like, it kind of fits perfect until like next year when I upgrade and get like a whole new set. But uh, let's go through the bag. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know how to pronounce the label of this bag. I think it's called the Terion right there. It's called the Terion. Uh, it's a really dope bag. I'm super, super, super like comfy. I'm not going to lie very very comfortable you can have like 100 things in here and you won't even notice because it doesn't weigh on your back heavily the mesh over here is very soft it's like a not like a Tempur-Pedic fill but it's very soft like very like cushioning I would like to say also they have the same cushioning in the back over here I don't know if you guys can see that but yeah they have the same on the back here so on the outside pouch over here we have my lens stuff, my lens cleaners. Fumon said my lens still happens to get dirty or too much dust in it or whatever. Pull out this real quick, maybe take me like 30 seconds. There's fake blood on the logo because it was for a shoot that I did a week and a half ago. The fake blood spilled in my bag. Not this one, it was an, an old one before this one came in. On this side, I have, I'm pretty sure you guys know what this is. This is uh, ND filters. I have a whole bunch of, ND. well, not a whole bunch. I have like about three. Which one is this? This is ND8. So I think this is the harshest one that I have, like the, the darkest filter that I have. Um, That's for like, obviously if it's super sunny outside, you throw this on. This one is a uh, ND2. So this one's a lot lighter, kind of adds that, Uh, I like it. Right now I'm not recording with the ND filter. This one is ND4. This one's at ND4. I kind of like the four, how the four looks. This would be super nice right now. So I have three, um, but there's four pouches for them. I think, I, I don't believe I had a fourth one. It just came with three. I don't know, that was weird, but just came with three. We have a uh, laptop little slider. Is that what it's called? A laptop pouch. And the thing is like on the inside, on the inside, it has like an orange inside. Let me show you guys how the inside looks. So that's kind of what we're working with right now. So let's start it off. We have, kind of looks like a big bonnet. <laughs> like, whoever would have a head this big enough to, to actually fit this, but it looks like a big, big ass bonnet, but it's not though. Um, it's basically so you could put it on top of your bag when it starts raining, because this is waterproof. Next thing, of course, got the speaker. Got the tripod speaker. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you guys, I hope you guys can see that. Tribit speaker. This was like, I think $60, something like that. Super loud, super, super loud. I've never even listened to music on full blast with this on. I've never had, I don't even, I don't even, I don't even think I make it halfway, to be honest. It has the setting over here to where you could actually put the volume up from here. Cause the speaker has its own volume, individual volume. So you could turn it up in here. Therefore, when you connect it to your phone, you don't have to like blast it all the way. It's already up, you know? Next we have, of course, the mic over here yeah we have the track star mic i actually got this mic because of yc yc imaging so shout out yc imaging this was about like 67 maybe 65 dollars and yeah it, it picks up sound very nice it's nothing like a lav mic right but um for vlogging or whatever your sound is going to be way more crisper than it would be if you're just recording out the the camera mic next we have this the gorilla pod there we go we have the gorilla pod this is for vlogging purposes as well I haven't really vlogged that much, but I do have a vlog on the way, but I haven't been vlogging that much. I've just been doing a whole bunch of music videos and whatnot. Joby, can you guys see that? Hopefully you guys can. But yeah, from Joby, uh, it's nice. I haven't really used it a whole lot, probably like twice, but I don't mind it though. It's it's it's, it's helpful. You can kind of set it up. It's, a, it's literally like a mini tripod. If you guys are at a park or whatever, you can like literally wrap it around the bench or wrap it around whatever you want to wrap it around next what do we have of course we have my little t7i charger super small charger but i like it i could have put this anywhere honestly because it doesn't really take up space it's very very small uh this is for the t5i i don't use the t5i as much for video but uh i still use it for photography here and there because it is 
still dope. I like I like the the color that comes out of the T5. I think the T5 might be a little bit more vibrant and picking up color than the T7. To be honest, that's just my experience with it. Maybe it was the setting I was using or whatever, but if I want to get like a vibrant shot or like a very, very colorful shot, I might just slap out the T5 before I slap out the T7. Yeah. Next, we have the aperture camera light. Yeah. So we have the aperture camera light over here. This side, we have the clamp that would be attached to your camera. And then we have, what else do we have in here? Yeah. Oh, this one has fake blood on it as well, but this is the actual camera light. And then basically how you would put this together is like this. Just slide it on. Real simple. And then you just, yeah. Just hit this little button on here on the side, right there. Slide that. Boom. And you're good. And you're good. And this is a decent light. I like it, especially in low light situations. As soon as you slap this on, you're pretty much good to go. It provides a, a decent source of light. Uh, it's from Aperture. So, yeah. Also, we have a bunch of gels for th this Aperture light. A little icy blue. Then we have kind of like a warm tone as well. Depending on what type of situation you want to use it for, use your discretion for that. We have the... Oh, shit. Almost dropped it. We have 50 millimeter lens. Yeah. So we have the 50 millimeter, super clean, nice image. I really like the image that comes out of this and just the quality that comes out this lens. This is kind of my go-to right now after the 24, especially when it comes to photography. It's just a nice, clear, clean, dope image. Honestly, I can't really complain. Next we have 55 to 250 millimeter zoom lens, telephoto lens. I haven't really used this that much as of recently, but I do definitely bring this with me every time I'm doing a photo shoot. If I'm using this in a video shoot, I'm using this to focus on the little details, maybe a person's watch, shoes, maybe uh, jewelry, chains and whatnot. That's what I would use this for. Uh, the next one, I have the kit lens. This one came with the T7i. I've only used this like once, literally once. <laughs> um, I'm not a big fan of kit lenses. I do think they're quite trash, but that's just my opinion though. Honestly, if you don't have the budget or the money to upgrade or whatever, uh, your lens then you should be good with the kit lens because the kit lens isn't terrible it's just not ideal but if you know your settings really good which if you're an amateur i don't think you do but if you've studied your settings or whatever you should be good with any lens honestly i just like the lenses that i like because of the looks that it gives me next we have of course the t5i i, I just kind of keep that in the bag i chuck it in the one of the compartments even though it doesn't really get pulled out as much, you never know, because I do only have one battery for my T7i. I have been meaning to, to get another battery, but right now I only have one. So when that dies on me, I don't wanna, I wanna make sure that I'm not stuck in a compromising position, especially if I'm on set. I don't wanna be like, oh yeah, this one's dead, so we can't shoot no more. That's gonna be a tough situation. I keep two extra batteries for the T5 just in case. This camera is never gonna die on me on set. I can always count on it if my T7 decides to perish on me. Next thing that we have in here, obviously we have the T5i batteries, all three of them. This one's not the Canon brand. This one's a third party battery. This one is the Canon brand. And this one's also a third party. It came in a pack of two. The third party ones work just as good as the Canon brands though, to be honest. They might even, I don't want to say work better, but they work just as good, honestly. Like they're super reliable. They last super long. Um, and it's good to have two, of course, just in case. Next, uh, we have the step-up rings. These step-up rings are for the uh, ND filters that I showed you guys. Focus in on it. Yeah, now it's focused. So these step-up rings are for the ND filter. You just kind of slap this on one of the lenses. Let me show you guys how it works. Yeah, yeah. so that's how it looked like. For the ND filters, you want to make sure that before you get the stepper rings, you want to pay attention to what uh, size the ND filter is. So this one's a 77 millimeter. So when you're stacking it up, you want to start with the lowest one, obviously, the one that will connect to your lens. And then you want to put it all the way up to the 77 so it can actually fit on there. So it can be attached to your camera. Another thing that we do have in here, of course, is SD cards. Gotta have the SD cards. I keep that in this compartment over here. Same place where I keep the batteries and whatnot. One of them are 32 gigabytes. Sorry. 
The other one is 64. This one's actually not for my camera. This one's more so for uh, the podcast, the where we record the audio on for the podcast. I have an eight gigabyte and I have 128 gigabyte, which is what I'm using right now. That one really doesn't run out on me. We have this mic. This is a decent mic. Um, one problem that I did have with this mic, it kind of gives off this like high pitched squeaky noise in the background. It's weird. I don't know. I don't know if you guys know your way around that, but I know every single time where I've used this mic to record audio, like even if it's an interview or whatever the case may be, it's always that high pitch noise that I hate and it's hard to get rid of. Even if you like try to EQ it or whatever the case may be, it's just not, nah, I just hate it. The other mic that we have, of course, is a uh, Aperture Lab mic, the A Lab mic. Um, this one's super dope. This one I never really had, well, that one dropped, but yeah. Um, this one I never really had problems with, ever. Um, this one's always been solid. Uh, there's been a couple times where I, I wished it was louder, but I know how to do that now in post-production. So the other one that I just showed you guys, the Power Device, has a more crisp audio, but the high pitch noise just kind of, you know, is the biggest disadvantage, so I just don't use it. The Aperture never really gave me those problems, so I just hold on to that. And then we have the connector cords, the connector cords over here. You know, if you want to put that in, if you want to put it in your phone, this is the charging cable over here. This is for if I want to transfer files from my camera to my laptop. These were the extra compartments that I haven't used. There's just three actually, it's three stacked up on top of each other. I haven't found a use for these. You know, I feel like it was kind of was crowding my um my bag just a little bit, so I just kind of put those on the side over here. That's pretty much everything as of right now, but. Next year, the year after that, you might see a whole different bag, a whole different setup. If you guys want more of these videos where I'm showing you my equipment, my new equipment, my equipment that I like, stuff that I recommend for up and coming creators or up and coming uh, videographers or photographers, leave a like on this video and leave a comment in the comment section. Um, also, let me know what item was your favorite item from this camera bag reveal. I'll catch you guys in the next video. It has been your boy, it's 10K from Sassy Edits. And I'm gonna holler at you guys later. Peace.